Hi, this is Jill. And this is Chris. And we're Boomer Tech Adventures, and um, we both love to travel. And we're going to share with you today some of the various gears we take with us uh, before we board the plane or get in the car or go by dog sled. <laughs> there we go. You know, it's funny. Um, a while back, I, I remember taking this um, inventory about um, what kind of style you have. And uh -huh. one of the questions that was asked is, how do you pack? <laughs> and, oh. and some people... Uh, you know, they said, oh, well, we fold everything, you know, on our bed a month before we're going to go and that kind of thing. And um, I remember my response was, I pack out of the dryer. <laughs> well, because I know it's all yeah, clean it's and everything all clean. fits. Yeah, right. There so, you go. Anyway, although that's tough when you move out of a, a different uh, yeah. climate. Well, I had a friend, though. She would <laughs> take the stuff out of her closet, still on the hanger. Put it in her suitcase, fold it up. When she got there, she'd just pick it up and hang it up. All I right. thought, well, there's something to be said for that, too. And there we go. So why don't we get started? Um, we're right. going to go back and forth, and why don't I start? Okay. Um, so um, what I – and I, I've actually made this mistake before. Um, I do um, – often when I travel, I'll, I'll travel with my, my little uh, MacBook Air, which is great. Mm -hmm. It's an 11-inch. And they're light they compared are. to the they're other. They're very, computers. very light. So, so it's great to have that. However, what you have to remember <laughs> is to bring your charger. Yes. Because if you don't do that, it's really expensive to buy another one of these chargers. Well, I know that because the other thing, not only do you have to remember to pack it going, you need oh. to remember to pack it coming back because they're also expensive when you leave them <laughs> in a hotel someplace and you have to replace it. Or they charge you a lot yes. to ship it to you. Absolutely. So what do you have? Well, of course, I take my phone. Uh, for maps, if I can find my way around, uh, the fact that I can be um, checking email, whatever, as long as I have service. Uh, the thing to remember, though, is uh, if you're going out of the country, you need to check with your provider. Some plans, and I don't think mine is one of them, but some plans will cover Canada and Mexico. Uh, others don't. But if you don't check that plan, uh, you're going to get a mighty big bill. And so you also got to remember to turn off um, cellular and roaming while yeah. you're gone because it happens automatically oh yeah. Yeah, yeah true enough true enough um before we go to our next one um i'd like to um remind you that our colleague uh, ed brzee is at the other end of the line and if you have any questions or anything like that please post them and uh, ed will also be putting up some links uh, I believe one of the links is a checklist of some type. I believe so. It's a checklist of gear you might want to consider, and it depends where you're going. Uh, if you're going for a quick weekend, you might not need to take everything. If you're going for an extended time and uh, you're a blogger or you're a photographer, uh, you may want to take additional stuff. Cool. So um, speaking of the cell phone and just kind of staying on the theme of uh, making sure you have power, um, don't forget to bring your, your cord and remember something to plug in. Now, I know in some of the more modern hotels, um, all you need is the cord. You don't need the, you don't need the brick mm -hmm. because they actually have USB chargers. Usually it's on the lamp or the desk yes. table or something like that. But you're definitely going to want to remember to, to bring these, these guys as well. Well, let me go into my handy dandy. This is how I pack. I have a big plastic bag so I can see everything. Now, because I have an old car, now I've got to dig. Because I have an old car, it doesn't have USB ports in it. I often will carry my phone charger simply because um, if you're using maps or some of the other apps that take up a lot of battery, you can be without power very quickly. Uh, but again, the newer uh, rental cars, they all have the USB port, and you can just um, plug in, which is really convenient. All right. 
right? So if you're, if you're traveling by car and you want to use your laptop and you don't want to drain your battery, a uh, really handy device to have is a power converter. Oh, I don't have one of those. Yeah, so so this this plugs into what used to be the uh, cigarette lighter. Yeah, or the is, auxiliary too. Yeah, yeah the yeah. 12 volt. And what it will do is it will um, convert that 12 volts to, this is a 75 watt power converter, which is plenty powerful for, for a laptop. So you can, not while you're driving, of course, no. but while you're the passenger, um, you can literally be using your your laptop to to do some things. If, I didn't, if you want I do didn't that. know that would have been handy. Um, I don't take my laptop so much anymore because <laughs> I don't work anymore. Well, except for Boomer Tech and all that. There we go. You're <laughs> failing miserably every time. I know. Says I. So yes. Well, yes. You're failing more miserably than I. Um, so I don't usually take my laptop. However, I cannot go anywhere without my iPad. Um, I would have severe withdrawal if I didn't have my iPad because I use it for everything. Um, now I know I have to have Wi-Fi in order to use it because I don't have a cellular plan for it. Uh, but um, I edit my photographs on there uh, because it's bigger. I can't be somewhere without a book to read. And Packing the hardbacks that I used to do is just so much more convenient to do it on there. Um, so I just like to use, make sure I have my iPad. And um, though sometimes I worry um, that I'm going to run out of power when I'm going on a transcontinental uh, flight or across the ocean, but you have something yes. that solves that, doesn't yes, you? Yes, and I actually have um, two two of these uh, these power packs. Uh, you can see one is larger than the other. Uh, but for your uh, for your phone, yeah, certainly, and for your iPad, um, this this little power pack uh, works works really well. It charges uh, by you know, just kind of plugging mm -hmm. into your into into a, a a regular household plug before you go and uh, this will charge your phone I think this one charges us like five times Wow, that's really convenient yeah, yeah so that means probably your iPad you know maybe two yeah two two or three times so that's pretty good um, if you're really concerned and if you use like I do use use a laptop uh, this is just a larger one and um, this one here, you can actually, I can run my laptop for about three hours. Oh, wow. Uh, just on this if, if I want to. Uh, so if I'm on one of the smaller airplanes and taking a longer trip that the older yeah. ones, they don't have power power cords. No. So, but this, this one's a little heavy. So if you're camping or something like that, um, you know, if you're on wow. one of the Katahdin trips, you could do this. And I don't have it with me now, but... Um, I do have a solar charger, which really is kind of cool, mm. is that you, you plug it in, and um, when I'm bicycling, I actually just kind of lay the solar panels out on the back of my bike, oh, wow. on, the, on, the, uh, on the panniers, and then um, it will actually charge my devices while I'm while I'm cycling and of course I'm not cycling and texting at the same time so well that's good so I'm well, not using it if people are interested they can go to our YouTube channel and we have a whole video where you've got the complete array of chargers out there and they can see what they look like etc yeah we'll we'll put the link up uh, later yeah um, so you can see those um, the other thing about the chargers is if you've got, uh, like we supposedly, maybe going to have a nor'easter this weekend, uh, it's nice to have it charged up so in case you don't have a generator and you lose power, uh, you can recharge your phone and keep in contact with the outside world. So that's a little aside, not really traveling, uh, but it's good to know. So let's see what else I have in my pack. Oh, oh now this is cool. So, were I going to the Caribbean this year? I'm not, but were I going, I might go snorkeling. 
Now, some of my friends are snickering because they know I'm a non-swimmer, so I'm not going to be snorkeling. But um, this is good for my little grand nieces who do. And what it is, is you can put your phone inside. It's waterproof. It floats. And so you can get some pretty cool pictures uh, of those wonderful fish and the coral and the other undersea uh, things that are going on. Close up of sharks. Close up of sharks. Like, <laughs> get right. Off shark. Go back. There you go. Anyway, um, so these, and it looks like you can just go right around your neck so you don't lose it. So that's kind of a handy dandy thing to know and very light and easy, squishable, go right in your suitcase. So speaking of uh, cameras, let's maybe we'll kind of stick to that theme. Um, so you've heard of selfie sticks. Oh yeah. So this is kind of a selfie stick on on steroids. Oh. So so it can be it can be a selfie stick if you want. Yeah. Um, and there's there's how you attach the I'm camera. My camera. There we go. We'll just kind of put that there like that. And so you can you can do the selfie thing. Uh, but what it can also do, which is great, is that this is also a tripod. Oh wow! So, so you can stick it up. Right, right. And so you know, if you want to get that group picture, yeah. and you don't want to. You know, your arm's not long enough because your group is too big. Um, what you can do is you can. Just open this guy up, and you've got a tripod. That's and right. It can be a tall tripod. Oh, you were out of the picture, <laughs> or you can you can go like that. Well, that so, is really very neat. Right, and um, we won't talk about it here. But if you use the timing function on this, you know you don't have to worry about pushing a button or anything no, like that. No, you can be in the picture. That's right. Ah. That's right. So anyway, so that's that's kind of cool and um, it's very portable. This just folds yeah. up like that. Just go right in and your backpack. And then it goes right in right in your backpack yep. or, or whatever you go. You know. Wow. Well, I also whoops, carry um, usually carry some kind of mini tripod with me. Uh, not I'm kind of liking that. I'm thinking I need to get one of those. Before this summer, when we have a big family vacation. Here we go. So this is uh, the gorilla one, and the the cool thing about this is the legs will bend, and so you could put it around a fence um, a fence rail. Uh, you could put it um, around anything that it will loop. And again, once again, you can uh, set it up, take the group shot. Also take a good shot uh, so you're not standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon and yeah, fall off. Yeah, let's not off. do that. <laughs> no. And the other thing is, because it's bendable, you could get it at different angles if you wanted to, if there was something low you wanted. Mm -hmm. This one's a little sturdier, but it doesn't bend. But it's also very easily packed. Uh, so having a, some kind of mini tripod uh, for your little camera for the your phone is, is really helpful of course if you take uh, if you're taking a big camera you're probably gonna have um, a big tripod but this is certainly um, nice for those of us who use our phones mostly for our photography great great so you know recently a um, um, one of our one of our subscribers asked about lenses mm -hmm. and you know the the iphones have 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 really good cameras now and um i know the um 10 and the 11 on a couple of them they also had zoom yeah i think it's a two times zoom yeah mine does like my my 10 does right right so um if you want to extend that capability you can buy um you can buy lenses that will um, that you can add to your camera. So this is one here, and uh, I, I think the easiest ones to use are the clip-on ones. Yeah. Um, there are there are kinds that have special cases, and uh, they fit over your phone, and then there's a place to screw a lens on. The drawback of that is that those are specifically for that style of phone oh so, they can't so that transfer. means no so if you upgrade your phone you gotta get a whole new one you gotta yeah so your lenses 
or at least the lens holder won't work and you have to kind of kind of monkey around but what this one does and i'll just kind of demonstrate really quickly so there's there's jill's uh lens here and here's the lens and uh you can simply put this right over it ah Just like is that, that so like a, a telephoto this one here is a fisheye lens so it's a oh, wide, wide angle, angle lens yeah right but um they have telephotos um they have some that are actually adjustable telephoto they have uh, this one here is a fun one this is called a macro lens oh i've seen pictures you get really close exactly. to it's insects like a microscope. And, yeah right. oh that would be fun right. just don't get stung no uh, when you know take a picture of the scorpions in the Caribbean or something. Yeah. But anyway, um, so so having having a little lens set, um, and they're 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 very light, mm -hmm. and maybe um, in a future uh, one we'll, we can talk about the lenses and things yeah. like that. Neat. So. Oh, that's that's really good to know. Well, let's see. Ah, <laughs> don't want to forget your earplugs. Um, Especially uh, if you um, are up later than everybody else that you're traveling with, which is usually me, uh, or on a plane, um, you know, you can download a movie and watch it, but you don't want to have the sound up, so you've got to have your earbuds with you. And if you're in close quarters yes. with um, crying babies or loud talkers, I would highly recommend, especially if you travel uh, quite a bit, which, you know, I'd be like a couple times a year to yeah. maybe quite a bit, um, getting a good pair of noise-canceling headphones oh, wow. is definitely worth it. Um, they, they work really well. This is, uh, this is a Bose. This is wireless, so I don't have any cords or ah. anything like that. Uh, they last a long time um, on one charge. This will last easily six, seven hours. Oh, that will get you just, well, it won't get you to Australia, yeah. but it will get you across the ocean right. or across the country. Right. And what's kind of cool about these, in, in addition to being wireless and, and also sound canceling, is that you can use them just as regular headphones without the power. So even if you run out of power, mm -hmm. um, you can still use these. Wow. So they connect good. with your, via Bluetooth? Yep. Yep, oh. Bluetooth. Okay. Well, while we're still talking about sound, you know, once you get someplace, you might want to have some music, or you might be having a couple of people watching a video. You know that they make these small speakers, and they plug in USB and in the sound, and. Uh, you can not have to listen to sometimes the tinny sound coming off the um, iPad or the computer, but get a really nice sound um, for whatever you're doing, whether it be music or a video. Okay. So that, and again, they're not that big. Uh, if you're backpacking, probably not. But if you've got a suitcase with you or you're taking a backpack, um, it's worth looking. And they come in all different sizes and all different qualities. Uh, so you need to do your research before you purchase yeah. one, but yeah. they're handy to have. So the uh, the other thing I know about these is that this one is designed uh, for for traveling, in that it has this clip. Oh wow! So it can just kind of you know clip right onto your belt or onto your backpack. Uh, what I use these for, very judiciously. Mm -hmm. All right, so don't do a lot of this. Is I use these to call birds in. When I'm hiking, ah. so you can, um, you know, using your phone, yep. you can, you can have. There are recorded bird calls, and you can actually be kind of walking through the woods, yeah. And you can, you know, call the call the blue jays to you, or um, we've used it to call owls. Uh, the caution I would give is that don't overdo that yeah. because you can s certainly stress the birds out. But they're very interested when they hear these, these yeah. bird calls. And um, this speaker is loud enough so that you can actually, oh. you can actually do that. It's, it's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Yes. Cool. Very cool. So if you're really going on, on a long trip, 
the other thing that I would that I would recommend is uh, this is a multi port, and so if you have multiple things to charge, yeah. So you have your your iPad, mm -hmm. you have your speaker, Bluetooth speaker, you have your phone, yeah. Um, you're, you're able to plug this, you know, right into a power source, and then you'll you'll be able to do plugs. In addition, um, because these are USBs, the on the other side is is a multi card reader. So if you have SD cards and you want to transfer files, yeah, to your iPad or to your iPhone or to your computer from your um, camera. Uh, this is this is a way to do that. So and and you can also you can use it as a charger. You can use it as um, as a card reader and transferring data, which is kind of it's pretty light. Yeah. Well, speaking of charging, etc. If you go out of the country, well, not Canada, but if you go elsewhere, you know they don't use the same kind of plugs that we do. So you want to invest in um, some kind of device that will allow you to plug in, whether you're in Australia, or Zimbabwe, or Paris. So I got this one. It pulls apart. Ah, come on. There we go. And it's multi, so I can plug it in. And it has USB like that. Um, and then it has the different kinds of um, plugs that go into the wall. And this one pulls out. And so it's worth, again, researching uh, where you're going to go, what kind of plug you're going to need. Uh, they make other ones like this. This one um, is a three, three plug. And then it also has a different one over here. And I don't remember what, I have to go back and find my directions about what goes with what country. But if you are going to travel internationally, you really need to have something like this so you can charge all your devices while you're overseas. There we go. Yeah. Well, cool. Cool, cool. So we are interested if you have other suggestions or ideas, yeah. just kind of put them down, down below. Make a uh, right. Comment. I'm noticing that um, Ed has put up a uh, um, URL for a handy tip sheet, and it's right down underneath the video. Um, let's see what else do I see. It's another person saying the multi-port is very useful when you're on the road. Um, so if you have a comment, please let us know. But speaking of the multi-port, now this is this is low tech, but I got this idea from you many many years ago when I was working <laughs> and traveling, um, is to carry something that does have multiple uh, plugs so that you can plug it into the wall, and then you can have multiple places to. Uh, plug in, whether it be a hair dryer or it be uh, a charger, et cetera. Oh, you know what we forgot to mention? Can I have the, the, the brick? The brick. Okay, so when you do travel and you've got your um, plug, the good thing about the apples is you don't need a converter because the brick will convert. All you need is the device that will go into the wall socket. So I just wanted to mention that. But having a multi-socket thing along with you is helpful. Uh, again, many newer hotels have uh, lots of plugs. But if you happen to be staying in a motor court built in the 1930s, you know, those single little uh, <laughs> cabins, which are kind of fun, uh, you're not going to find as many. So having something like this is always helpful. I don't know. I think I'm out of the things on uh, my packing. Do you have any more? Nope. I'm. I'm. I think that's all I could pull out of the dryer to pack it. So, <laughs> so we're good. Um, we have a YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel. Um, if you go to YouTube and Google Boomer Tech Adventures, or Ed will put it up. Or Ed will put it up. Um, or we'll put it up when we're done. Uh, you will find a variety of. Um, 
videos that we've made about Apple devices, uh, including that one about the external chargers. Uh, we hope you'll visit our webpage, which is um, boomertechadventures.com. And of course, we have a Facebook page, which you know, because you're on it right now. But if you haven't liked us, please do. And uh, enjoy your digital devices as you travel. All right. And we'll see you next time. All righty. Thanks for stopping by. Bye from Chris and Jill. There we go.